Thank you for joining me once again in another interesting video of science. In today's topic, we're going to look at one of the most examinable questions in the exam. This is your tutor, the science guru, Mr. Mobiana. Come with me as we learn. Yeah, so in today's lesson, we are looking at work, energy, and power. I work here, we're looking at work, energy, and power. So the question is, what is work? So work is just a product. The product of force, work can be defined as the product of force, the product of force and the distance moved in the direction of the force, in the direction of the force. So what this statement means is the Excuse me, is this first? Check. Work is done. Let's say this. This is a. This means this is a person trying to move an object. Trying to move an object. Let me see. Now, if this guy is pushing, let's say, is pushing it forward. This guy is pushing it forward, just like this. So this trolley moves this direction towards where it's pushing it to. It means work is done. Work is done. Work is done. Okay. Now, in a case where this guy is pushing the trolley and the trolley decides to go upwards, we don't know how that can happen, but let's say if it decides to go upward, it means no work is done. Work is only done, that's what I said. This is the product of force. And the distance from, the distance moved, the distance moved, this distance from here up to there, in the direction of the force. The force is pointing straight wide. This is the force. So it has to go in the same direction. So now we are saying that work is equal to force times distance. I want you to take note of this. Let me just make some uh, points here. I want you to take note of this. Take note of this. Take note of this. We say note. So, work is measured in joules. The symbol. So, the symbol. The symbol is uh, capital letter J. Then force. Force is measured in newtons. Force is measured in newtons. Then the symbol will be capital letter M. Now, sometimes this force will be given in kgs. Okay? Let's say I've given you this force in kgs. So if you have given you the force in kgs and you want to convert it to newtons, you just say, you say that, you say that, wait is equal to mass times gravitation. It will give you into newtons. Then distance. Distance is measured in centimeters. Distance is measured in what? Meters. In meters. In meters, the symbol will be N, the capital, small letter N. Yeah. That's what you need to know about, about work. Now we've got energy. We've got energy, let me just see. I think I've got this thing now. We've got now energy. So, energy is simple. Energy can be defined as the, the ability, ability to do, to do work. Okay? Now, there are two types of energy I want you to take note of. Types. We've got one, what we call potential energy. We've got two, what we call kinetic energy. Kinetic energy. 
Now, potential energy, this is can this can be defined as the energy possessed by the body due to due to its position. Okay. This is the energy possessed by the body due to its position. Now, kinetic energy can be defined. This is the energy possessed by the body in motion. So this has to do with motion. Okay. Now, if we've got uh, a diagram, yeah, we're going deeper now. So, it, so if we say, okay, let's first give formulas. Potential energy is equal to mass times gravitation times height. Then, kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is equal to uh, 1 over 2 mass v squared, which is the v for velocity. Now, we come, we come, get this right, get this right. Remember, this is science with the science rule, making science easy for you. Yeah, get this right now, get this, get this. Yeah, sure. Present that in a diagram. When you say this, so if this is a stone placed, so at this moment, at, at this point, this stone, the potential energy is equal to, let's say that it has a potential energy of over 500 joules. At this point, the kinetic energy becomes zero joules. If it is dropping, once it reaches the middle height, they are going to divide the potential energy becomes 250 joules. The kinetic energy becomes 250 joules. Once it drops, it reaches the ground. The kinetic potential energy becomes zero joules, and the kinetic energy becomes 500 joules. Just like that. Are we okay? Then, if we were to present the information in the form of a pendulum, Got this pendulum. So if a pendulum is moving at this point, the potential energy is equal to 500 joules. The kinetic energy is equal to zero joules. So once it starts moving, I'm going to notice that the kinetic energy will gain the 500 joules. Potential energy automatically becomes zero. If it reaches at this position, the potential energy gains back the 500 joules. Kinetic energy becomes zero, just like that. Do you see that? So we've got that example, the same. A pupil of mass 40 kg runs up a, flat, a flight of 20 stairs, each two centimeter, in, uh, in a time of 20 seconds. Then taking gravitation to be 10, then the same calculates the gain of the potential potential energy. So just say data. You said data. So calculating the gain, you said potential energy is equal to mass gravitation over height. So instead of P, you are finding the mass they have given it to be 40 kg, the gravitation. They have given you to be what? To be 10, then the height. They have given you to be, the height they have given you to be what? Two, two centimeter. Now, this height, this height should be multiplied with how many of each stair? There were 20 st uh, a stairs, so you multiply by 20. So this, you're going to get uh, 40, 40 centimeter. Okay? Just like that. So now we can find, now we are saying potential energy, so potential energy PE is equal to mass G over height. Our mass, it is what? Our mass is 40. What is our gravitation? 10. What is our height? 40. Okay. So what is, um, what is uh, 40 times 40? One sixty plus uh, plus plus ten. So I'm talking of uh, one zero 
and you will see something like this. Again, like this. Are we okay? Yeah, because the phone is here, here, sixteen two zero seven thousand. Sixteen thousand joints. Something like this. Are we okay? You, you have found your answer. Simple as that. You have found your answer. Simple as that. Then you come. They are saying the power used in climbing the stairs. The power used. So power is just work done over time. Do you see that? Work done over time. Now, the question that should come into your mind is this. Do you have the work done? No, you don't have. But you know that work done is equal to force times distance. Do you see that? Do you see that? Now, do you have the force? Do you have the force? So uh, the power, okay. Do you have the force? Yeah, we have. What the distance? This distance, we just have to convert it. So we said, let's convert this into, convert that into what? Into, into the SI unit for force. We say weight is equal to mass times gravitation. My weight becomes 40 times 10. This becomes 400 joules. Now, I take it here, I say, work done is equal to 400 joules times the distance. Distance should be what? Distance should be, distance should be in, uh, in meters. So, I say, let me convert this into meters. I just divide by 100 to get 0 0.2. So, now, once I get that, I say times 0 0.2. I use my calculator to multiply. What is 400 by 0? So, work done. We so say, what is 400 by 0 0.2? To so give you 80 joules. So, you just count. Work done is close to, power is close to work done over time. Okay. So, you say 80 joules over the time given is what? 20 seconds. So, this to give you power is equal to this into that. That will go 4 joules. Just like that and you are good to go hope you enjoyed the lesson thank you for watching bye bye